I think the brilliance of the Icelandic model is that it doesn't try to take on entire countries. It's, it's municipality by municipality. It's town by town. So really what we, look, we do is, um, first we have to know what we're talking about. So every uh, participating community, part, uh, the kids participate in a survey and they tell us what are they using, what kind of drugs are they using, how often are they using it, what are their mental health issues, how are the school environment, how is the after school activities, what's the parent support and so on. And so we have the multiple dimensions of a child's life that they tell us and then we take that back to the communities and we say this is the data. You know, we have, you know, 70% of your kids are getting drunk, you know, uh, twice a month and they're doing it after they play football because they've told us that. What do you want to do about that? The remarkable amount of um, compliance to the Iceland model. So when you look at the statistics, you find out that in the 10 to 12 year olds, more than 90% of the kids throughout the country of Iceland are involved in after school activities. And the coaches know that. They're not trying to produce like athletes or artists. They're trying to produce kids with healthy character. And so they're, they basically understand that this is a way of uh, promoting you know, health and well-being throughout the society. And um, you know, the, the sports is just a vehicle for that. And so it's not really trying to produce professional athletes but so much as it is to produce um, healthy people. And so the society's invested in that. And I think, you know, if you go to Bhutan, they say that they're interested in happiness. Here they're interested in like a more holistic view of health and well-being for the people in their society. Mm -hmm. So what is your personal thing that gives you this, this natural high moment? I'm a travel addict. I mean, I like traveling. <laughs> so travel, does, travel is like a drug for me. I mean, I, I different cultures, different people, different environments, and it became, my brain starts lighting up on all cylinders, and I start feeling excited, and I get, I get an adequate dose of dopamine in my nucleus accumbens, and that becomes very meaningful to me. And another thing that has a lot of meaning to me is the empathic moment. Like when I meet someone, or and we have a common sort of human experience, that really makes me really, it's a natural high for me, is connecting with other human beings around the planet. So the, that empathic moment where you have a sense of common humanity really sort of really sustains a lot of my pleasure in life. It gives me a lot of meaning. Mm -hmm.